We're pitch side with Emmanuel Oblite, the coach and manager of the Ghanaian over 35 side who's just played against Germany in your crossover. Emmanuel, thanks for joining us. Firstly, your thoughts on that game? Yeah, thank you. I mean, if, um, of course, Germany is one of the top countries. They are in the top 10. So obviously having an opportunity to play Germany is an experience for us basically. But I think we, we managed ourselves well in this game. But you could see Germany and then as part of the European play, they are much more expansive, they are wide in their openings. And it's one of the things we would also want to learn as we gain these kind of experiences. So I think it's a very good game for us and we've learned some few things. We'll try and get the videos and study a bit more and then maybe hopefully when we come back we'll be much more better in, in the next games. Well, we watched it, and I appreciate you want to be better, but it was a fabulous performance anyway. But across this tournament you've played, England, South Africa, Spain, Sri Lanka, are you happy with how the team's adapted, the learnings that they've had, and how you've performed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are, we are, well, we are, well, I think um, with Sri Lanka, obviously, that was a much more, you know, okay for us to manage. Our game against England was pretty tough, of course. I mean, they are doing really well these days you could i mean the ladies won the commonwealth games the men also won bronze in the commonwealth games so obviously they are they are getting their, their i mean their hockey up to a certain level now having to meet them of course will be a learning for us to as well they played much more intensive progressively they were playing on a higher pitch and um, it was difficult to really cope with them in terms of their speed and all of course i mean having seen what they are doing now clearly tells us of course we also have a lot to learn so obviously it's been a very good experience for us. So going back, of course, we have so many things to look at. I mean, um, as, as an experience coming to this tournament, it's been really good. We will we'll try and manage some of the things we didn't do so well. We'll try and do them well better next time and then see how they also try and talk to some of the guys and see what we can improve in one way or the other. So it's been really good. I mean, we've played South Africa, South Africa always. I mean, it's not easy to South Africa. We, 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 we went down heavily against South Africa so far. That's a team that has beaten us 10. So obviously they are in our continent as well, and um, we, 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 we hope to do much better against them. I mean, by having the privilege to be playing against the top teams as well, I think we could close the gap for us. So now going to, I mean, the subsequent games in South Africa, I think we are, we are, we'll be much more confident in, in dealing with it, situations like that. So that, that's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. And you did just briefly speak about the Commonwealth Games. We delighted in watching the sides at the Commonwealth Games. How, how is hockey in Ghana in general, so not just Masters? I mean, you're putting out some fabulous athletes. Is it a growing sport in, back in Ghana? Uh, give us an insight. Yeah, I mean, hockey, hockey, well, hockey is, well, is growing very fast in Ghana now. We, 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 we don't have that many pitches, of course. I mean, we have, so far we have only one pitch, and then we are trying to um, get many more pitches. We are trying to have about three more pitches, um, two at, three at university side, so obviously we will get much more pitches, we'll get many more getting involved in hockey, expanding it much more to other areas where it hasn't been before. So of course hockey is growing very well in Ghana and, we, and um, our current administration is doing so well, they are trying so hard to make sure hockey becomes much more expansive within the other communities that we have, getting more people, getting, getting, getting more people involved in hockey and that kind of stuff. So of course yes, hockey um, uh, we can say is growing, it's growing very fast thanks to the administration which is also doing everything they can, engaging us at almost all levels of hockey, the masters, the senior the genius and all that kind of stuff. So yes, it's growing very well. One area that um, we, we need to expand more is the areas of the schools where we get many more schools getting involved one way or the other, which is in the action plan for Ghana Hockey Association. So gradually it will be picking up and it will be growing faster than perhaps uh, we also think. Yeah. And the teams here, therefore, they're seeing Ghanaian hockey for the first time possibly. What could the global hockey community do to help hockey in Ghana? Well, I mean, um, it's, it's a good question, really. I mean, globally, we are all trying to um, improve um, hockey generally. So in terms of logistics, of course, those are areas that we would need. Our technical areas, we would need support in those areas. Let's say coaching, the coaching staff needs to be um, built up much more. And we, should, we need much more capacity in those areas, engaging in, uh, in collaborations to help us improve our game so that we'll be much more competitive in competitive games and then um, helping scholarships to as well. I mean, that area is one area that we... we, 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 we we struggle a lot. You know, fans everywhere is not that easy. So if we get many more people, you know, helping our course in that area to, to help us, you know, fund certain, some of the things we do to help us um, do some of the things that government is not really supporting, that would be really great. And that will help us so much. And we'll be really, really grateful for it. Well, thank you so much for your time. We loved watching you. We love your insight. And hopefully you can enjoy the rest of your weekend and the end of the tournament. Thank you so much. And we also love you all. Thank you.